So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, who is the man in the iron mask, when you should be asking, who is the man in the iron mask? Yeah, see, word emphasis is very important here. Okay, so first things first here, the man in the iron mask was a man, obviously, who was arrested in 1669 or 1670 and held in several French prisons from the Pignerol to the Bastille. He got his nickname because he was made to wear a black velvet veil over his face. The whole iron mask thing came from Voltaire because it sounded cooler than the man behind the black velvet veil. He was watched over by this guy, Bid. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna call him Slugger, who was a prison governor, basically what we would call a warden nowadays, for about 34 years, until the mystery man died in 1703 under the name of Marchioli. Now, we have most of Slugger's letters, so we know a few things, such as the supposed name of the prisoner, Eustace Dauger. But who was he? Well, we've got some theories. The first theory is actually kind of obvious. It would be the French man that lived in that time period named Eustace Dogger, who was supposedly part of the Affair of the Poisons, a murder scandal where from 1677 until 1682, members of the aristocracy apparently were delving into poisoning and witchcraft. It led to the execution of 30 people and the imprisonment of Dogger, or Dauger, however, I'm not French, okay? However, as you can see, this happened after the guy in the mask was arrested, and we know that Dogger was in an asylum so he couldn't be him. Some people think it was simply a king's relative and there's a whole host of these. From Voltaire claiming that he was the son of Anna of Austria and a cardinal and therefore an illegitimate half-brother of the king or that there was a mystery twin brother even though many people were present when Louis XIV was born so we know that didn't happen. Though this has been the basis for many versions of the story including the Man of the Iron Mask movie with Leo DiCaprio that most people think of when they think of the man in the iron mask. There's also a theory that he was Louis XIV's actual father, that the queen had had an affair and Louis XIII wasn't his father. But again, we have no evidence of this. Another theory is that he was a valet that knew something he wasn't supposed to know. Supposedly, his name was Eusis de Auger, but again, we have no evidence to back this one up. Who was he a valet for? What did he possibly know? Yeah, we have have no clue. The next theory was that it was General Vivian de Boulogne, who ordered a withdrawal of his troops, leaving behind the wounded and his munitions, at the Siege of Cuneo in 1691, which Louis XIV was not happy about. However, his arrest was well reported on. He was only a prison for like three months, and we know that he died in 1709, six years after the Man of the Iron Mask died. Plus, if he was arrested after 1691, and Man in the Iron Mask was arrested around 1670 or so, yeah, those don't add up. Or it could have been an Italian diplomat, Count Ercole Antonio Maccioli, who had brokered a deal for Louis XIV to take control of the fortified town of Casale in 1678. However, after the deal was done and he was paid his fee, he leaked knowledge of the deal to France's enemies who raised a fuss and the deal was undone. The French then kidnapped Maccioli and had him thrown into Ginero in April of 1679. However, again, this date is about 10 years after the Man of the Iron Mask was in prison, so yeah, that's a no-go. And finally, it could have been an illegitimate son of England's Charles II. Either James de la Cloche, who claimed to be an illegitimate son of Charles, but the jury's still out on that one, or the Duke of Monmouth, who was an actual proven illegitimate son of Charles II. And yes, Yes, Monmouth was executed for leading a rebellion against James II, and yes, the execution was botched. We covered that in a previous video. But rumors abound that the man executed wasn't Monmouth and that he was instead imprisoned. The problem with that theory is that the execution took place in 1685, so yet again, yeah, the dates don't add up. So the truth is, historians aren't sure who was the man in the iron mask, but I know exactly who it was. Man in the iron mask had to have been none other than, that's right, Red Herring. Yeah, if you know, you know.